Hello, hello again. It's your favorite San Antonio realtor. I'm Stephanie Arneal and I'm back today. I'm on kind of the north, northeast side of San Antonio, um, off Judson Road, just inside Loop 1604. This beautiful home is four beds, three baths, just over 2,000 square feet, and is listed just under $350,000. And look at these beautiful mature trees, y'all. Like, you can't make this up. It's beautiful. So, Here's my phone number, call me, text me. Let's check this one out together. Let's start a search for you. Let's do all the fun things. Um, I'll give you all the contact info again at the end, obviously, if you like, share and subscribe, pretty please. Um, but anyway, let's, either way, I'll show you the house. So let's get going. All right, as we go in, we've got this cute little front porch, dark red, almost an orangey hue door. Doorbell's on the side. I'm not sure if that's an old wired doorbell or what the deal is. We'd have to investigate that one a little bit more. Um, my guess is that's where the doorbell used to be wired in. Um, and we, you'll hear a couple things beep when we open the front door. So it's probably related to that. All right, let's see here. See, all the beeps. <laughs> all right, as you go in, it's really open for the most part right away. To the right, we have living area. So it's tile, I should come back. It's tile over here, and then like the wood looking laminate right here. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Big open space. You can see the security system, fireplace for all your not cold weather days here in San Antonio. But it is a wood burning fireplace, that's really nice. And um, they left the TV mount. Looks like a relatively new ceiling fan and light fixture. And then as we come through here, you've got, you can see the door there, the stairs, um, a doorway to the downstairs bedroom. There's one full on suite downstairs and the rest of the bedrooms are up. And honestly, based on sizing, I would make the primary up personally, but I'll show you in a minute. And we've got the breakfast area or the dining area and the kitchen beyond. So, dining. We'll go outside in a bit, I promise. I am in love with this look of the kitchen. So we've got granite countertops and it's got the two level for the bar. You could line up, honestly, four or five bar stools there pretty easily, maybe even six, it's a long space. And then next to the refrigerator, you've got some built-in pantry space. Lots of white cabinets, stainless steel appliances, uh, a good deep kitchen sink with the window right above to the backyard. I mean, it is kind of a galley. It's open floor plan and then kind of becomes, you could tell it was always like an originally a galley kitchen. Um, and so you've got your electric range. They do have more shelving over here for storage, which I would think is probably what the initial pantry was, but they've added those other cabinets. And then you can tell they did some patchwork at some point to the ceiling because the paint's a different color. <laughs> But an inspector can tell us and make sure there's nothing going on. It just looks like dried paint. It doesn't look wet or anything. Cabinets. And they did the cool little tile. Backlit tile. Ooh. Let's see if this is above cabinet lighting like I hope. It is. <gasps> Y'all, they already have over cabinet lights installed. You could run an, a plug probably up and hide that cord. But it's fun. All right. And then here's the garage. car garage it's a really deep garage only one side has a garage door opener um i don't see a sprinkler system your electrical panels right here though attic access and i don't have a ladder with me but that's the attic access and then there's some built-in shelves and your washer and dryer hookups are out here right in the garage and your water heater is it right here that water heater is from, I don't know when. It looks relatively new, but honestly, I don't see a date on it. Uh, based on the serial number though, our inspector can look it up exactly and find out. So there's ways to find out, I promise. Okay. More beating probably. So the only other thing downstairs is a bedroom. Right by the stairs, you've got this entry. 
And the very first thing is the closet, which this house doesn't, by having this bedroom right here, they don't really have a coat closet per se, but you could add a little coat rack or a mud bench right over there. And then this bedroom they made real dark. You could use it like an office too. And then it's just a small bathroom. Toilet, shower, single vanity. I really do personally like that mirror though. It's cute. And then it's got just a pocket door. Good space saver. Okay. All right, let's go up the stairs next and then we will do outside last. So I do notice, let me come back down a little. Um, honestly, around the stairs and the banister, you could use a lot of paint and clean up. Because if you look, it just looks dirty. I don't know, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser might would go a long way. Um, it, might need, it might need paint on the steps. But also, as you come up, you can tell the banister can use just some touch-up paint, which paint isn't the end of the world. But you can just see, just need some touch-ups. All right, your air returns right there. And then at the top of the stairs, you get a little family room, game room, landing area. You get the next bathroom. And it's got also a single vanity and another really cute mirror. And they added a shelf also. <laughs> it almost makes me feel like it's like a hotel shelf, like you could stack towels there, it's cute. And then tub shower combo here. And then obviously your toilet, because it's not a bathroom without a toilet. Yay! Okay. And then the next bedroom. The bedrooms are a good size. Not gonna lie, I'm a fan of this size bedroom. It's all hard flooring. I haven't, there's no carpet in this house either. And then this one has like the old school accordion doors. Basic little closet. You always have to take notice of little things too. For example, we're missing a face plate there, which is like a one, two dollar fix at Home Depot, but just worth paying attention. The devil's in the details sometimes. And then next door to that is the next of the bedrooms. And then it has a similar closet to the last one and a view of the backyard. It really is a large lot. I love this backyard, personally. Okay, let's go across because we have one more bedroom. So here is what I consider to be the true primary suite, um, just based on size. It's a huge bedroom. Let me come show you from this corner opposite the door. So it's definitely a bigger bedroom. We've got the closet on the left, the bathroom on the right. It's not a huge bathroom space, but check out the closet. So it's a deep walk-in closet with another attic access. And still, the thing I notice is just the paint. It needs touch-ups, it needs holes filled, it needs touch up paint and cleaning, um, which is, again is not huge. It's just worth noting when you're looking at houses. And then here's the primary bathroom. They did double vanity, but separate vanities in here. And that same mirror. There's a little, um, bath, uh, listen to me, window for ventilation. Obviously your toilet. Oh. And then, hold on, I got loud. I turned on the light to the shower and it, the vent came on. <laughs> It's a nice walk-in shower. And then they added a cabinet over on that side with hooks to hang your towels and all the things. All right, let's go back downstairs and get the backyard scoped out here. All right, as we go out this sliding door, more of the beeping, huge backyard, y'all. Lots of mature trees. The fence looks like it's in decent shape. You can tell where it's been repaired over on that side because some of the planks look, wood planks look different. Um, 
but generally it's all, you know, upright. I don't see any big holes. It seems to be in pretty good shape. Over on this side, we've got the AC unit and another tree. So this is from 2014, so it's tw 10 years old already. Um, but and no matter what house you buy, I would always encourage you, um, let's put in the contract after the inspection to have the AC serviced and repaired. That way you start off with a Primo working AC. This fence along the back looks really tall. I'm gonna walk back here and stand next to it and then also show you the back of the house. Oh, it's a six foot. It just felt really extra tall. And then there, here's the back of the house. And then there's a shed, which is locked. And I don't have that key. You have a utility box. That's the utilities right there. You had a little garden, it looks like. And then over on this side, I've been looking at several houses. This might be the one where the roof is like three years old, um, but it, it looks like it's in great shape. So all your utilities are here. And then you've got your gate to the side. Just a little wood decking. So what do we think of this one guys? It's got so much potential. It needs some touching up on the paint and things like that obviously, but this lot is huge and this house has so much potential and is such an amazing location. So call me, text me, let me know what you think. As always, I'm Stephanie Arneal. I'm your favorite San Antonio realtor. I'm gonna go see the next one, but I can't wait to see you there.